Let's say we want to build an add-on like this one in Blender, called Bisect and Move, that can divide any given object into two parts, so we'll learn how to create this. In the first part of this tutorial, we discussed how to create the basic structure of the code running behind, now in this second part we'll discuss how to add the main functionality or the bisection. So we have to first understand how we can do this task manually for a cube. We'll first add a plane, and enlarge it sufficiently to cover the cube. Then we'll select the cube, and in the modifiers tab, we have to add a boolean modifier. We need to use this difference option, and in this target object, we have to select the plane as the cutter. It will give us the upper section of the cube, and we can get the bottom half following the same method. But we'll do all these steps through our Python script, so go to the edit menu, then preferences, and then switch over to the interface option. Now we have to enable these two checkboxes, they will allow us to view the Python code behind any action or any property. Just place your mouse over any field like this, Blender will display the corresponding Python code. But before we execute that code, to add a plane, we have to ensure that the 3D cursor is at the center of the cube. The first step is to set the origin to its geometry, and we can easily see the Python code behind this. Then we'll snap the 3D cursor to this origin, and here is the Python code for that action. So back to our script, within this execute method, we will paste a set of Python statements. But we need to remove this extra indentation, because Python is very strict about this. It will throw an error if the code is not properly documented, so you have to keep the correct indentation. In the first three lines, we have set the origin to the geometry for the selected object, and we snap the 3D cursor. Then we are adding a plane, which is a copy-paste of the Python code we just saw. And finally we have set the dimension of this plane as double of the cube, so that the cube is surely covered. So let's now get the code to add a Boolean modifier for the cube. You can simply use Ctrl C to copy this code while it is displayed. Then for the difference option, we have to set this property in our Python script, and the target object can be set in the script using this code. So let's add these lines in our Python script, like this. Here, first we are setting the active object, then the modifier is added through this code, and all the options that we saw got assigned here, like the plane is set here as the target object to cut the selected cube. Finally, we have applied the modifier in this last line of code, we can get this Python code to apply a modifier from Blender itself, by placing the mouse on this apply button. Now we'll move this upper portion, as per the distance set in the add-on. And we need to also create this lower half, so we need to duplicate this cube, and we need to also make this plane upside down, so that it gives us the lower half after the cut. We can get the Python code to duplicate an object from here. So first we will move the upper half of the cube, using this single line of code, and you can see how we have referenced our input parameter or the move distance here. The input parameter or the property is defined here, and we have used this property within the execute method, with a special identifier called self. So whenever you need to refer to any property of the add-on you're building, you need to use this self identifier. Now to duplicate the original object, we have to add a code before the plane is added, so just after this line, we'll add these two lines. And then, in order to make the cutting plane upside down, we have to rotate it by 180 degrees, with this code. But you can see that we have used a new package here called math, so we have to first import this package or the module, similar to how we imported BPY earlier, otherwise Python will raise an error. Now we will use another Boolean modifier like this one, but this time, we have to add it for this duplicate object. But this second Boolean modifier will go after the plane is rotated, so right here, we'll add this code. Here, we have set the duplicate object as the active object, then we have the same modifier used earlier, but the object is now changed to the duplicate. Finally, we can get rid of this cutting plane, since it is no longer needed, so at the very end of this execute method, we'll add one more line of code, which will completely remove this plane. Now remember that we also had a checkbox in our design, called create new collection, it will keep the two parts of the original object, inside a newly created collection. So we have to also implement this function, and the Python code to do this task is highlighted here. But we should execute it, only if the user has selected the collection option, so let's copy this new collection property. We can access this field using the self-identifier, and we have to check this property in an if clause, before the creation of a new collection. And the code block will need an indentation under this if clause, since Python is very strict about this. So we are ready with our script, let's now save this file. 
But before we install our add-on, we have to first remove our test add-on from here. So go to the edit menu, then preferences, and then go to the add-ons tab. From here, let's remove this test add-on, and then we will install our new add-on. So go to the location where you have saved your Python script file. You have to select this Py file, and click on install. Then you have to enable it from here, and you can also see the details as per our BL info. Once it is installed, we can see the new menu item appearing in the object menu. But in order to use this add-on, we have to first remove these objects, so let's delete them. Now we'll add a new cube into this composition, and we'll bring our add-on from the menu. We see the options here just like how we designed it, and if we go ahead with this, we'll get the object divided into these two parts, and these new objects are also kept inside a new collection, so everything is working perfectly. But let's undo this, since we want to also test it with a different object, maybe this time we can add an icosphere. We will again divide this object horizontally into two parts, using our bisect and move. So here is the result, the sphere got divided as expected, and the operator box is here, we can change any parameter, the change will take effect on our object, like the distance is reduced in this case. So now you know how to build an add-on in Blender, you can add much more things to make it more powerful. For the Python code to do any specific task, you can Google it, or take help from generative AI, like ChatGPT or Google Collab. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.